way, and that's impressive. And get this, we're going to replace the sickness paradigm with wellness. Well, who are for that? And in a particularly magnificent bit of being this flat track, we are going to develop a single shared view of the place-based needs of the population using advanced business intelligence capability. <laughs> but you know what? They tell the truth as well. Just once, and probably by accident, they tell the truth. And this is from the very first page of our Sustainability and Transformation Plan. And what they say is this. Local health and social care services are under severe financial pressure and we have a significant resource gap which is challenging our ability to meet the needs of our population. And in that single sentence lies the reality of what's actually happening to our health service. That's why we face in Shropshire NHS cuts of £150 million cuts of 2,000 NHS jobs. That's why we've got the same hideous proposals as up and down the country. An A&E set to be closed, maternity services being smashed to bits. The outrageous idea, the outrageous idea that you can drive through the destruction of the NHS and social care, but don't worry about it because community resilience means that friends and neighbours and families can just step in and fill all the gaps. Well, what nonsense. But I want to talk really quickly about fighting back, because our tradition in Shropshire is that we got organised and fought back. Their A&E closure is in chaos because we fought back. We stopped the closure and downgrading of three maternity units because we fought back. We stopped last summer savage, savage cuts to services for frail elderly people and people with mental health problems. We won on a whole host of things. Fighting back doesn't guarantee victory, but it's much better than sitting back and waiting to see what happens. That's what we need to do from this demonstration. We can't wait. We can't wait for the next election because the NHS is being destroyed now and social care is being destroyed now. It's incredibly urgent that we build the fight back in every corner of England, every corner of the UK. Let's go home, get organised and defend our NHS.